acecoach.com presents a couple of pieces when we're learning kinesthetically that we need to know first off there's three basic ways that we're going to learn feelings some feelings are going to add pace to the ball some feelings are going to take pace off the ball and some feelings are going to maintain the pace of the ball. So it's about controlling the speed. An example of the throwing feeling on the backhand side is the situation that results when the opponent sends a weaker shot that you can step in and drive. Another sensation we can use to add pace is called a throw. Now we learned in the first article about throwing your racket from the serve, but a lot of ground strokes in order to add pace also have throwing actions. So we're going to use a one-handed backhand as an example. So the first thing to get the feel is you can just use a dot or a frisbee, and the idea is from back here, hold it and pull it away from this backhand, flinging the thing out towards the curtain. So let's watch. You just throw it. Throw it, yeah, let it go. Here we go. Throw it. All right, and after that, if you want even more real, we had an old racket, so we have an old racket that we use for, for throwing. Uh, and the whole idea is when you throw it, it's not just throwing the racket, but it's throwing the face of the racket so you don't get all sorts of weird racket control. So throw the face of the racket, let it go, right into the curtain. <laughs> Got to make sure that no one else is around because it's a little noisy. If the throw is done low to high, it can be used to add heavy topspin. The action is like pulling the racket away from somebody's holding it behind you, using your legs and your hips first. Both arms separate and notice how the force of the throwing action drives the shoulder blades together. <laughs> 